What's good, YouTube fans? That works back here. So, Power of the Primes continues to hit it out of the Paul Park. Along with all the Stone Cold Grail of G1 characters, we're getting a surprising amount of Fembots. So, why don't you join me now as I go against my uh, better judgment and race the moon, whatever that means. This is Power of the Primes. Moon Racer. As you can see, for alt mode there, packaging, blah blah, blah. nice uh, artwork right there, picture of Elita Infinite right there with uh, Moon Racer as an arm. Again, more pictures of Moon Racer, blah 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 blah. Chest. Armor stuff that looks terrible. Alchemist Prime, Alpha Trion, blah blah blah. Joyful Autobot Sharpshooter is basically all we get. So where's the figure you may be asking? Well, here she is. So let's take a look at her um, car mode. I say car mode because it's more like half a car with a robot uh, chest at the end. Yeah, there are a lot of flaws with this toy. One of which is the wheels. They kind of suck. Ignore the air conditioner. It's freaking 40 degrees out. And uh, Here are instructions. Here's her collector's card. Uh, Alpha Trion Moon Racer. Translates the Covenant of Primus for Cybertronian youth. So she's a librarian, basically, from what I gather. Uh, we'll remove her gun. You know what this looks like? You know when you're lying back, like, on a hammock or something with your hands behind your head? But combine that with a turtle's ability to hide their head in their uh, shell? That's what it looks like Moon Racer is doing right now. Which is hilarious. On the back, you can kind of see everything. She does have four wheels. Uh, Autobot sigil right there. She does have resemblance of uh, headlights that are in yellow. Uh, blue rim screen. This piece, we'll talk about this piece. There are issues with this that I have. Uh, you got white paneling with some weapon ports. And that's basically it. Take a look at her gun. You know what this looks like to me? It looks like a, either a harpoon gun that somebody stuck a scope onto. Or like, I don't know. For some reason in my head, I thought it looked like a alien version of a Walter P-38. The uh, gun that Megatron turns into, but... I'm thinking more like... It kind of looks like a harpoon gun with a scope. Alright, it's supposed to be a sniper rifle thing. Whatever. Let's go into our alternative mode, starting with arm mode. So basically, all I'm going to do is that. And fold out the... Yeah, I have not figured out how to actually... There you go, there's... <laughs> oh, I completely forgot I... Here. Her chest, her... Uh, hand. Combiner hand. There you go. There's an arm for you. Woo! Woo! You got two elbow joints and a swivel and a 
wrist swivel barely. And you got an outward shoulder joint and a ratcheted. Oh great, oh joyous me. Let's go into leg mode, which is some what more interesting. Basically you want to make these two tabs peg in right there. How you're going to do that is using that double joint to get them all the way back up there. And while you're doing that, you want to flip that out because that was the will be the brand new combiner peg hole. It, it, it takes a little bit of finagling, but you got to get it. Come on, you, there you go. There you go. And then put that in front. And we take that. And there you go. There's a combiner shin for you. It's pretty terrible. In my, it feels really ha uh, slapdash and uh, half-assed. Hmm. All right. Now that we've done that, let's go into robot mode, where there's actually some interesting touches to it. Basically, you want to. Okay, you're gonna fold these bits out. Hey, look, she's got wings now. Fold that, and you want to take this piece, fold that back in, and there are two peg holes right there that are going to go into these two ports, right uh, pegs right there, ports and pegs and things and stuff. And no, wait, they're actually up here. So you want it to look like that, and then bring these all the way to the back, and rotator hips out. S split the legs, fold down the feet, and bring her head out of her chest, and fold her arms down. Oh, and oops, I completely forgot to fold the <laughs> combiner uh, combiner back up. And make sure she's able to stand. And there you have Power of the Primes Moon Racer in her robot mode. It's not a bad robot mode. There are just some issues that I have with it. Other than me sweating to death. First off, there's too much translucent plastic. And for anyone who doesn't know why translucent plastic is an issue, it's a lot thinner and more prone to breaking than the solid ABS they use for, like, the rest of the body. Like, translucent plastic in her torso, on her feet. This whole piece is translucent plastic with just paint on it. Like, thankfully, the hinge is solid, because if that hinge were... Translucent plastic, that'd be nightmare. Like, you'd be hearing all kinds of horror stories of that breaking. But the worst one here, the, the ball joint is translucent plastic covering metal. That plastic is going to crack very quickly, and I really hope that arm will be able to support itself without the pot. Oh, wasn't paying attention to the camera. Right there. Give you a good shot of that. But, you know, other than that, where is my... Where is my little one? For comparison... God damn it, little one, get out here. You were on the package. There you go. There she is with Voyager... Elito one. Uh, articulation is pretty good. Head is on a ball joint. I really like her um, uh, motionless, just blank stare. It's a really good head sculpt with a little bit of yellow. Uh, she's got an Autobot and, uh, sigil right in her chest. Another complaint I have is all the kibble. You got giant chunks of car right here. 
these bits just hanging on her arms, like not contributing to the look at all and actually looking pretty bad. Uh, her neck is also on a on a hinge at the base and a ball joint, so you can get a lot of range. She's very expressive in her neck. I like that. As I said, shoulders ball jointed. You do have an elbow bend. You do have a uh, ball jointed elbow. So it's a faux bicep swivel. And you do have a, well that looks pretty terrible, doesn't it? A wrist hinge. To make it look like she's broken her wrist. And you have two waist joints. You have the one on top if you want to detransform her a bit. But you also have the main thong one down here. Which gives you a good full 360. Uh, hips on ball joint can go all the way out, all the way forward, and that far back before they start bumping into stuff. Double jointed knee, kind of looks a bit awkward, but, you know, good 90 here, full, full 180 right there. Her, her knee, the, the biggest thing that makes her look awkward is the fact that her, uh, her actual knee, like, the look of the knee does not move. Which it is just floating in limbo, and her feet are on a bit of a tilt, along with a forward and back. They peg in right there. Uh, color scheme isn't terrible. I do like this uh, weird pale green mixed with the white and the uh, pink. Sorry. And we'll give her an, the ability to stand up, but we'll also just give her her uh, rifle thing. Oh my god, I'm fucking sweating so much! It's way too damn hot! I shouldn't complain, but I am. Because this is my video on my YouTube channel that will never get popular at all. Feel free to come back in X amount of years and tell me how wrong I was, because I would love to hear about that. And we have the stupid chest armor, which we have to figure out an actual way to plug it onto her. The best I got is just plug it in right there. And hope you can plug it in both sides. Which does look completely terrible. But where is my packaging? Yeah, it's supposed to sit right on her neckline, so like right up here, and then I don't know how they made this work <laughs> on the promo shots because there's literally nothing if you want you can uh, I guess de-transform her and then I don't know plug this in here you hilariously you can actually totally do the, um, which was it, Age of Extinction Lockdown Gunhead thing. That is actually a thing you can do. That kind of win, wins her some points in my book. Elite One is an easy pass. If you don't care much about the character or don't need any more combiner limbs, there's nothing really here that will get you excited. There's nothing... Really, that interesting about her. I I appreciate the fact that they actually engineered the combiner peg to not be a part of her, not be her chest. But that's really all I can mention. She's kind of just run of the mill, generic combining deluxe limb robot who happens to be a woman. And I guess there's nothing wrong with that. 
so uh, thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. I put this video off for a long time just because, you know, it's kind of obvious the conclusion I was going to come to. Like, she's fine, but she's not worth getting going out of your way to pick up. Uh, and until next time, keep it weird.